this is atul from noha guru and today we are going to see about the velocity analysis in metal cutting here i am going to use the same merchant circle diagram which i have used in my previous video where i was explaining about the forces and their different components by using merchant circle if you are not seeing that video please go and see that video first it will be like more useful and it will be like more understanding to you guys even though i am going to explain you bit of the merchant circle so that you will understand the velocity analysis more clearly first of all i am going to explain about the shear force you know material is getting cut by shearing and tearing and shear waves travels from the tool tip point from this point to the extremities of the workpiece that is from outside of the workpiece in in this direction okay the next one is the chip flow velocity directly you can say your velocity is in in this direction chip flow velocity and the third one is the cutting velocity you know you are going to cut in this direction so your cutting velocity is also will be in this direction now we know their directions and uh, where how it is lying now we will going to extract the their velocity components first one i'm going to take here the shear velocity component the next one i'm going to extract the chip flow velocity component and the third one i'm going to take it the cutting velocity component now we'll name it accordingly usually we are denoting chip flow velocity by vf vc as a cutting velocity and vs will be the shear velocity okay so i have replicated same triangle here and i want to calculate the different angles with respect to their cutting velocity or with respect to their velocity component first one it is very easy to find out the shear angle phi denoted by phi its angle between the shear velocity and the cutting velocity okay the next one as you know the chip flow velocity chips are flowing on the rake face of the tool that means it making an angle of that is why this angle then from that knowledge we can find out the what angle is this we know this alpha and this makes an 90 degree angle that means it will be 90 minus alpha and if we know these two angles then it's very easy to find out the third one it will be like you can find it that by using the basic trigonometry calculations this will be like 180 minus this angle minus this angle whatever it is so what will what it will come 90 minus 5 minus alpha please do remember the brackets most of the times those students who are just remembering the angles they will forget to mention the bracket now we have calculated the different angles we have donated the different velocity components now there is a time to establish their relationship with each others we are going to use a basic sign rule to find the relationship between them that is like this if you are using sign rule we see upon opposite angle sign of opposite angle that is sign of 90 minus alpha here i have mentioned bracket okay you can convert this to the cos also but i have not done that mostly we are going to use the calculator in our exam so no need to do that that's what i felt actually again it will be like uh, okay this cos this sign and all those things so keep it as much as simple as possible no problem use the basic rules only okay that's all guys from the velocity analysis actually if you remember the basic of merchant circle their force component how it is lying and what angle it is making all those things then it's very easy to extract a velocity triangle from them and it's very very easy to find out the relationship between them just use a sign rule we call it as a sign rule that is this side divided by the opponent angle sign of opponent angle this side divided by sign of opponent angle and this side divided by sign of opponent angle okay that's it nothing much or nothing complicated in this topic okay thank you guys for watching if you like and if, if you find this video useful then please do share like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you